Hi friends, I am Uday Sagar Kanpal and I welcome you all to yet another lecture on Java using NetBeans IDE. In the last classes, we studied about uh, the LCF, the LCM, and the HCF of numbers. Now we will study about a series of numbers called as Fibonacci number. The Fibonacci series is very important series in mathematics as well as in the nature, where every spiral created by nature like the trees like the universe has a Fibonacci series attached to it so what is Fibonacci series a Fibonacci series is a series where f of n is equal to f of n minus 1 plus f of n minus 2 that means Fibonacci number is a Fibonacci series is a series where uh, where the nth number nth Fibonacci number is equal to the sum of the previous two Fibonacci numbers. The initial Fibonacci numbers of f0 is 0 and f1 is 1 and all the other numbers are calculated by calculating the sum of previous two numbers. Now let's begin the code. But before that to all my new, you, new viewers I would like to ask them to subscribe to my channel and if you like my video please press the like button on YouTube and comment and share thank you let's begin Fibo na so let's create a Fibonacci function as a fib function for n number if n equal to equal to 0 we will return 0 if n equal to equal to 1 we will return 1 else we will return Fibonacci of n minus 1 plus Fibonacci of n minus 2 this is the basic simple series of Fibonacci recursive but this is a very lengthy series for every time we need uh, to create a nth number we would have to calculate the Fibonacci of f n minus 1 and n minus 2 again and again which we can resolve by using dynamic programming but right now let's look at look into the series so let's create the implementation the implementation part is very simple let's create fib of in fib equals to 0 of fib is equals to fib of n or we can say fib here we, we can change the name because the fib name is coinciding with fib so we can say it is f or we can say it is n which is more intuitive to understand so fib of n is equal to fib of n what so this functions will be static since we are using directly in the class done so Fib of 0 is 0. This is the base case. Equals to 1. And equals to 2. So shift F6. You can see that Fib of 0 is 0. Fib of 1 is 1. Fib of 2 is equals to 0 plus 1 equals to 1. We can... Further create some more Fibonacci numbers 3, 4, 5. So 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5. We can create some more Fibonacci numbers 6, 7, 8. So 1, 2, 3. So 0 plus 1 equals to 1, 1 plus 1 equals to 2, 
1 plus 2 equals to 3, 2 plus 3 equals to 5, 3 plus 5 is equal to 8, 8 plus 13 equals to 21 or 5 plus 8 equals to 13, 8 plus 13 equals to 21. So the Fibonacci series is very good and will and it's correct but this series can be modified if we create a static end dp if we create a static end dp or new it can be used to store say one lakh numbers so if dp of n not equals to zero return dp of n else return so now what will happen is if dp of n is calculated already we will not have to calculate the dp n of that number again so let's run it is printing the same number so this uh, is taking a space memory space of 10 to the power 5 so 10 to the power 5 numbers could be stored so we can create 10 to the power 5 dp uh, uh, Fibonacci numbers using this function. There are other more optimal uh, Fibonacci uh, implementations, but we will stick to these basics. Basic uh, Fibonacci implementation as of now. Thank you for watching my lecture. Bye bye.